Hello everyone, welcome back. And today I'm gonna show you guys a pretty awesome team against the Falconer boss that's gonna involve a five-star Chenzing. And we're also gonna be using the four-star life and the four-star Chenzing. This is actually a really amazing team for this boss, but they do require some skill because there are other ways that you actually increase your survivability. But Chenzing will offer a heal. And this is gonna be a level 90 boss with everything turned on except for the time limit because we just can't get it done within the time limit required but all these things are going to be enabled for this particular boss and then this, this is of course the team that we're going to be running with so let's start at the run guys let's talk about this run and talk about what we're actually doing in the run right so what i've got set up here is that on life i actually have the twilight squad logistics honors because that will actually increase or decrease the elemental resistance of the type that we're using and since life is an electrical based character we're going to decrease the elemental resistance by 16 percent for five seconds now it's really really important whenever you use in life and you use her support skill that you do it whenever you have the markings applied from chen zing and that and also when your reload is completely done that way you can start barreling down your bullets now this isn't a perfect run it was a difficult it's a difficult thing to do because you know the way that i'm playing is i'm kind of dodging and running around and really just trying to avoid all the attacks of this boss but i mean you could also replace place Chinzing with Finny, but with Finny, you're going to be up close and personal due to the fact she is a shotgun character. She will do more damage, right? But if you're using the same team composition, you're going to do some pretty damn insane damage with that team. And something that I love about the four-star Chinzing in this run is that whenever you have her neuronics leveled up, her heal will follow you around wherever you are on the field. No matter where I'm at, I'm actually going to get a heal. And the crazy thing about this run is, yes, my limited Chinzing is at level 6. 65 but my two support characters are just barely over level 50 right they're barely over level 50 their logistics are not leveled up they just have equipped logistics and that's it now on my uh chin zing i actually have the zinye squad uh logistic equipped which actually increases your u energy your ultimate U, uh, your ultimate energy and this is really beneficial especially for the limited chan zing because her uh, ultimate does a lot of damage especially whenever you have the markings applied from her E skill or from her standard skill and if you also have life's uh, paralyzed applied at the same time with the logistics that I have equipped on her which are the twilight squad decreasing the elemental resistance you will do a ton of damage like I've done this run with the same Chenzing with other characters, and it would take me about 13 minutes, something like that. Now, this is still going to be a long run, guys. It's still very difficult. My Chenzing does have maxed out logistics on her. I will show you guys the build here in a little bit. They are completely maxed out. They're all at level 15. They all have extra stats. And one of the extra stats I had was for electrical damage, and that definitely helps this character, but she doesn't have any manifestations, nothing like that, right? This is a setup that could be done by free-to-play if you have her weapon, and of course, you have her. If you don't have your weapon, it's definitely gonna be pretty damn difficult. But again, you can apply the same method with Finny to get it done. But uh, I really love these bosses. This is something about the game that I really enjoy. I think this boss is really, really fun, right? He does have set patterns where he jumps around. And really, to, to me, one of the most difficult things to avoid in this boss is when he's charging at you, he, he leaves a thermal ground or a thermal radiation on the ground where if you're running into that you're going to take a lot of damn dot damage so you need to always remain to the, either the left side or the right side of him just gradually go to the left as he's coming towards you or gradually go to the right whichever the case may be whichever side you have more space to move along away from right now, one thing about Chen Zing that is, you know, a tricky little thing is she does require a bit of skill because you're always trying to set up those markings. Every time you do that, every time you scan, it, you are vulnerable. You can take some damage whenever you are doing that. And you also want to make sure that you apply the markings while you have the paralysis from life, while you have, well, not really, well, the paralysis from life, or maybe the slow effect from Cherno, or maybe the slow effect from the four-star Acacia also, right? But the difference between Acacia and Cherno in this particular run is yes, their soul effect will debuff the boss, but life actually paralyzes, which debuffs the boss, and you apply the elemental resistance down from the Twilight Squad. You're getting the better of both worlds. You're applying more debuffs, which is gonna allow your character to do a lot more damage. These runs are insane. They take forever to do, and it's really, really important when you're playing with Chen Zing, 
to always, when you use your ultimate, like what I'm going to do right here, you use your ultimate, and her ultimate does last a good little while, always apply her standard skill afterwards. Like right here, I don't have her standard skill as applied, so there are no markings on the boss, so we're not really doing as much damage as we would really like to do, right? You want to do, you want to have those markings applied while you do your ultimate, and really if you can apply the paralysis from life with the Twilight Squad logistics equipped on her, you're going to do so much more damage, man. Ooh, we, we, we took a took a good little shot there. Took a good little shot, right? And this is something I love about the game is that it really does require a lot of skill. And the funny thing about the game is that the two new characters that we got with Acacia and Shen Zing are both, I mean, they are very skill-based. You're always trying to set up their skills. You're always trying to set up when you're going to lay your attacks down. You're not really just, you know, it's not really brain-dead gameplay where you're just going barreling in and blow, 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 and shoot up, shoot up everybody. You have to be very, very careful when you play with these characters. And I'm definitely doing some dodging and weaving here. We're breaking out our ultimate right now. I mean, we, we took a lot of damage here, right? And again, my standard skill is not ready. All right, a lot of times I try to use my standard skill before I do the ultimate. And then that way the markings are applied. And seriously, guys, you'll just get mo you'll hit multiple targets all at once, which is really beneficial against this boss because he has multiple weak points. And because of that, you're going to hit a lot of those points all at the same time because of Chen Sing's well, the, the, because of the core, because of the way that she is set up, it's pretty lit. Now you see, I'm kind of trying to stay over to the right, away from all that thermal energy that's lying on the ground, so we don't take any damage, man. And I actually did this run this morning. Uh, really, only took me a couple tries. Not too bad at all, right? But I really do enjoy playing this boss, and I love the fact that she just hits multiple targets all at once. Get our heal, apply our debuffs, use our ultimate, and start barreling down the damage right by the markings and you can see the damage guys it's really amazing you can see the life just going down a little bit as our ultimate is being applied it's just a uh, it's massive guys They're like seriously man she's so good it, it just sucks that she requires uh quite a bit of investment in order to make her good uh chin Zing, you know considering that she does really need that weapon to shine i mean you could do this without her weapon i mean i Obviously, you could definitely do this without her weapon, but it, it's going to take you a lot longer to be able to do it. And I know for a lot of players out there, including myself, I don't really like when I play bosses. I honestly don't like them to last any longer than five minutes or so, right? Because whenever they last like this, you know, 10 minute, 10 minute long fights, they last 15 minutes and all this. It's just like it just becomes redundant after a while. You're just like, OK, OK, I'm having fun. I'm loving this boss, but I've been seeing the same moves for the last, you know, 15 minutes. I'm ready to get this fight over with and move on to something else. Right. Which is why this team is pretty damn awesome and works out really, really well. There is another team that you can set up. Uh, with Chen Zing, the four star Chen Zing, and the five star Chen Zing, and also another special character who we got for free, little hint there, uh, during this event that actually will increase your survivability even more. And then I'll be showing that off in another video. But I wanted to show you guys a way to do more damage, especially if you don't have Chen Zing's weapon. If you don't have her weapon, this is a really good way to increase her damage if you're willing to come in here and go balls out. Now, you don't have to turn it all the way up to 6,600 points or even play at level 90. You can play a lower level uh, depending on the level of your account depending on the level of your character right my chinsing has all maxed out logistics which means that she's getting an extra 20 percent attack 20 percent hp 20 percent defenses uh increasing her survivability and increasing her damage because of the extra increased attack i also have the extra electrical damage on one of my logistics which is also increasing her damage but i mean the, the logistic thing guys is honestly it's just it's, it's pretty rough, right? I've been actually recently doing some logistics for my uh, limited life, and it's been pretty rough trying to get the right stats. I've actually used uh, three of those revision applications. Well, we took a good shot there, but I've used three of those revision applications so far, and I have not got the stats I want at all. I'm getting like thermal energy and, uh, you know, chaos damage, which isn't worth a crap for the limited life who is a frost character so yeah it really sucks man i i wish they would give you more options whenever you use those things but it is what it is right it is what it is but i'm really proud of this team i really think they're pretty freaking awesome and another thing is that you know life whenever you do her paralyze that thing has insane range like no matter where the boss is at on the screen as long as she's facing them she will hit them 
she will connect to them, which is pretty sweet, right? You know, range is a really good tool, especially against these bosses that uh, are not really fun to be up close and personal to. Oh boy, get her or get him, get him. But look at her go, guys. Look at her go, right? And I, that's what I hate whenever you get against a wall and you can't really see what's going on. Boy, that's a tricky little thing uh, right there. That's tricky as hell. But old girl is plowing through this man. She's absolutely destroying this thing. Look at that, right? This took about nine minutes. And like I said earlier, uh, if I wasn't, when I don't use life and I don't use those logistics on her, this takes me about 13 minutes to be able to do, man. And, you know, the fact that this took, you know, nine minutes is a huge improvement for this team. And as far as the builds, really quick, I don't know why I just went in that banner, guys. Have no idea. But as far as my uh, Chenzing here, these are her logistics, right? She's got the extra attack from having these all at level 15 and one of them has electrical damage by 4.7 percent which does help uh, unfortunately the other two shield construction which is worthless for auxiliary units i mean that, that's okay but the way that her markings are set up it's it's okay but it's really not the best option uh for her and then we have the uh life here who just runs just regular logistic guys the twilight squad which actually decreases target resistance to that type of damage and since she does electric damage you're decreasing the resistance by 16 percent every time you do her support skill which really aids in doing more damage with your damage dealers whether it's with life herself whether it's with you know the five star finny or with the five star chinzing two really good options to uh, have on a team with this version of life with these logistics and then of course you know we have the uh five star chinzing who's just level 50. uh one of hers is at level 12 guys and by the way if you increase this girl's hp like if all these things were leveled up and you increase her hp you would get more of a heal because that heal is based off of chen zing's hp so the more she's leveled up the more hp she has the more heal that she's actually going to give you increasing your survivability but this set the zinye squad set on her is actually really good because it increases your max u energy and increases your energy recovery of the full squad by 28 percent which means that you're going to be able to use your ultimate more often and in chinzing's case that is very very good because her ultimate is actually very very strong so hopefully this video will help somebody out there as far as you know trying to get it done against the falcon or boss and let me know how y'all doing in the game and i do stream on twitch at 9 p.m jd plus 7 time the link is in the description below and i hope you enjoy the video thank you for watching y'all take care and have a good one see everybody take care